this is the pattern. Got two patterns. Got a backing board, and you got the uh, main uh, image here. Uh, I've got here. This is just a piece of poplar that I've I've glued up to make a made a a piece big enough for that pattern. And this is I've stacked two different woods. There's a little little difference. One of them's a little darker than the other, and I'm going to probably stain the darker one because I want the uh, beak and this and possibly the feet. I may do some manipulating with that to get the feet a little different. Steve put the feet the same as the body of the eagle, which is okay. Uh, I'm just going to try a little something different. But anyway, I've got two pieces stacked, and I'm going to cut them all at the same time. Uh, there's no real internal cuts because you can cut up these segments and put them back together. So I don't have any drilling to do on that, well, except for right there for the eye. But uh, anyway, I've got these ready, I've got them mounted, and I'm going to drill that one hole and I'll get it to the scroll saw and start cutting it. i got to got to watch what I'm doing, cutting this, so that I don't lose integrity of the two pieces i got stacked as I'm cutting. Uh, that's easy to do as long as I keep the outside. I'm gonna, I'll probably drill an internal hole and start cutting from the center somewhere so I don't cut through the edge. Anyway, I'm going to get over the saw and start doing that.
So there's the finished product. And as you can see, I ended up making two of them. Uh, so I stack cut it to get different woods for these two pieces and this one. So I took the pieces from the other one and uh, put it back, put it together, cut a backing board. I used the stain in a little different configuration and tried to make it look a little different. Uh, I like the way it's turned out. Uh, my wife has kind of advised me on some of the colors. She liked this. She said it made it look like a bald eagle. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked that. Uh, it was kind of fun to make. It's a little bit different. That's uh, segmentation, but it borders on intarsia in a way. But uh, I kind of enjoy that. It's and, and the way I sanded these, I used a jeweler's file. Uh, I used a flex uh, Dremel. I have a, a Dremel here with a, with a flex shaft, and I used that little bit right there. And I have a little little clamp that I can clamp small pieces and hold them by hand and, and sand them on the end of my belt sander where it's rounded over. And I did a lot of that there. And then I'd take this, the jeweler's file and I'd smooth off the line that it would leave to kind of make it look a little more organic. But the jeweler's file is what I started out with. I did a lot of the first one with just the jeweler's file, little little small needle file. that My wife, uh, she was using those. She made a lot of jewelry, and I saw them, and they work great for small pieces like this. So anyway, I, I use some unusual tools for woodworking. Uh, to do some of this stuff. Anyway, I hope you like that. If you do, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. and kind of help me out a little bit. Uh, I hope to, you enjoyed this, and I'm glad you watched it, and tune in for the next one. I don't know what I'll do next time, but probably be something different. So thanks for watching.